get that alliance back on the go. I don't deserve your love, but I'll take it. I spat out Seuss, and I will have them back eventually. Hopefully, Portugal won't take it. Hopefully, Portugal deal with their bloomin' rebs. Okay, not good, but not bad. Pretty average, actually. Uh, I need to keep those Amirs a little happier than they are right now, so a local noble will do the tick. Oh, but he's he's not very good. He is not good at all. Oh, Higgins. That was the name of the Adventure Island, fat ass. I was going to name... Oh, good point. This is our one island, and it's not called Jerba. It's now called Adventure Island. Because, man, that game kicked my ass. Is Castile crushed already? I don't think Castile are going to win this. I should start considering if now is the time to uh, attack, but I need those relations to go up a lot more than they are right now. The trouble is how, I mean, the guarantee will help with plus 10, but for the most part I think I just have to wait for that 133 to go away. Lithuania, we'd make good allies, don't you agree? They almost do. If I had better uh, diplomatic reputation that would help. My boats are almost finished, which should help also. Remove Sus from the map. Oh, really improve relations with Algiers will get me uh, what I need to ally Lithuania. The trouble is I'm so far away from that. I mean, I would have to get trade power from them. Which I can certainly do. Half of it, in fact. That gives a little boost. Plus 10, woo. Can do military access. A gift would help, I guess. Oh, but I just got rid of the mission. Alright, we'll get Brittany then. Austria still on a rampage as ever, and also not willing to be my friend because of the uh, British question. Man, I screwed up on that British thing. Hmm. Hold on, can I even offer them vassalization? Yeah, because that doesn't require a marriage. <laughs> a marriage anymore, thank goodness. What a terrible fact that was. Okay, everybody, back over here whilst we figure out what's going on. Hopefully you'll be done soon. And then I can go and uh, conquist that all up. I'm also really hoping you guys don't go over there, because I don't want that. <laughs> Maybe they'll just go back to Portuguese. Yeah, the, the Portuguese cycle continues. Ah, and here I am paying these troops like a chump. I've got to take a step back from all of that. Get our units together, and I don't know what we'll do with you just... Oops, that was not the intention. Uh, what do I even do with all these guys? I got so many of them. Could certainly try to help my trade in Alexandria. Well, apparently they'd be better in Tunis. After all, they get that uh, not in the right place penalty. Not in the home trade node penalty, which will hurt that quite a bit. Not liking this. I would love to just trash them, but probably wouldn't go that easily. Jake did espionage get a buff? It did. It got some new features to it which are s extremely uh, useful. Like study technology and incite uh, liberty desire. Castile must have messed up. Aragon went to 50% and then got support from the Ottomans, but I could have instigated that if I had uh, the correct ideas there. Uh, it 
Doesn't seem like he could be trusted. I don't want to lose admin at this point. I've been committing so much adminicide just trying to core up my country. Good, good lad there, but I also want you to explore the, uh, the coastline there. The Sea of Rodanus. So I want to know about the, uh, the coast of the Sea of Rodanus. Ah, uh, that's one of the things about random naming, sometimes they don't come together quite right, but maybe that can be looked into. Mill cap, yeah, the mill cap is coming up, in fact we're riding it at the moment. Getting the next tech seems like a bit of a waste though, even if it does make cannons quite a bit better. I uh, would probably rather boost the, uh, the provinces around here, but then that might not work out so good. Ah, uh, let's just take the early tech. Nice to get some half-decent cannons on the go, although I think I have a grand total of none. Yeah, maybe I should change that. There you go, one little cannon couldn't hurt. Finally, something worth uh, exploring. Uh, Development-wise, it all looks rather crap. I don't want to jump on... Oh, well, no, I say a lie. That is nine development right there, and it's not going to rise up against us. 901 day, uh, 601 days to get there seems a bit harsh. It's probably going over here and then down and around. It's a shame to see that that's still around. <clears throat> I might be able to solve that if I stick my, uh, my capital over here. I can't stick it onto a province that has a, uh, an estate on it though. But sticking my capital so close to Ottoman lands also seems like a terrible idea. Hmm. Maybe when I stick, when I fight uh, the Ottomans, it can be on my terms. Blimmin' lucky nations. 601 days is usually fixed by rebooting, Jake. Please don't reboot me, but that's uh, it's worth an investigation. Why not? Yeah, we're not doing too shabby at all. Now, I've probably been a bit lax on the chat. There has been a lot, and I have seen a lot of red, but uh, if you do have any questions about the Cossacks, you should just ping me. I will do my best to take note of it. And answer what I can. Of course, the Cossacks come out in... Uh, wow, right around the corner, the 1st of December, this Tuesday. As for what time they release, they will release not a moment before or after we intend it to. That is to say... Who really knows? Oh snap, that's uh, something I forgot about in the review copy. Let's just cancel out of that. Uh, the review copy is slightly different from the actual release copy. And one of the things is there's an issue where if you load from continue save on certain saves, it'll claim that Iron Man breaks. Which is not the case on the, uh, the final version. But such is the, uh, the things you go through when using the review copy. It would be very unprofessional of me to use the final copy for the stream. Very unprofessional indeed. How long do you intend to keep streaming, Jake? It's been four hours already. Okay, maybe uh, maybe up to an hour more, I'd say. But when do we ever really know? Honestly. Jake, you need viewer reduction strats. We're over a thousand. Jings, you're right. Four figures. I don't think we've seen that since the last feature stream. Well, if anyone new is around here, hello, I'm DDR Jake. I work on this game. And now I'm here streaming it for you, like a complete sellout. Alright, double the colonists, double the fun. Let's spread a baddie over to the new world. Yeah, the development over there isn't too shabby. I wonder if that's British or... Uh... Oh, that's British. Well, what a coincidence, we've rivaled each other. Perhaps we can... Uh, oh, you got the important center of trade as well. 
Where is Raz Garib and do I want it that badly? I really don't. Not to the point that I'm going to take uh, revolt risk for it. Now one thing we were trying to get was an alliance with the uh, Lithuanians. We're not going to get it if we lost the one guy that actually boosted our diplomatic reputation to be able to get to it. It's going to feel really good. Oh wow. Sanitaire. Didn't I just find that? Here you are. The lookout had reporting signs of dwellings, but the ship had to see, to see any natives until at long last a coastal village. Yeah, if you say so, game. Food and gold were given, which indicates the province is prosperous. It produces zero chance of gold, but sure. But food? Sure, they'll have that. Fish, coffee, sugar, tobacco, cocoa, grain. I like it. Oh, that's also worth considering about this area. Tropical wood, fish, naval supplies, but there's a slight chance for dyes. Dyes are the bee's knees, really. And now that we've got some Moroccan cores, and excellent, we got our dip rep guy as well. Everything's coming up Thrill House. Oh, we're on the cusp. We are on the cusp. I think just one more man will sort everything out. Heck, even that cannon that's currently in production. Just a little bit more. What happened there? <laughs> oh, man. I had a 20 modifier that went away. And I'm not sure which one it was. Prestige is fine, I don't have to worry about that. But it's nice to finally have... Uh, some presence in a new world. Jake, change your attitude towards Lithuania. Yeah, I can certainly try. Look, we're friendly. We always have been. Like with you. Man, if Austria were to rival me, that would be a uh, kick in the face, wouldn't it? But I'm glad to see that Aragon are going to get their independence. Naples, sadly, are fighting on the Castilian side, and they're soon to be integrated by them, so... That's quite the opposite of good. Well, what are you going to do? Ottomans still hating our guts. I really wonder, how can I defeat them? Hungary is at tech 12. Ottomans are not. Lithuania is probably almost at tech 12. The Ottomans, I can't say one way or t'other. Persia is at tech 9, which is miserable. The Ottomans have Aragon as a friend who wouldn't help them. Hmm. Maybe it's because I'm not threatened by the Ottomans, which is what I was before. Who's the red state in the random new world? That is Great Britain right there. Doesn't seem to be any natives around here. There are a lot of natives on this uh, little patch of islands. Looks like we may have something bigger up there though, but we can't quite see it. It's so nice not to have rebels popping up. It's also quite unusual. Ah, Portugal can deal with all the rebs these days. I'll get that converted soon enough. And I still just want to smack Castile for all the problems they've been giving me. Ah, Tunisia's truce is soon to be up. I will probably try to return a core or two to Algiers. They might even like me for it. Yeah, not looking so good now, are we, Castile? Damn, I hate you. How are relations with Algiers going? That is really on a timer there. We need a long time before that ticks away nicely. Time will heal most wounds, really. Okay, good job. We know all about this land now. Uh, I'm quite interested about development, but it's... It's all below 10. That's at least what I can garner from this. 
some better than others, and also any trade. Any important centers of trade. Yes, there's you. There are only three development. But that would be rather nice to control, especially if it flows into Safi. Quite a lot flows into Safi. And nothing seems to flow into the English Channel. Oh, no, no, there's something, but we don't know about it. Ah, oh, well. We'll take this over. Maybe if the British... Uh, British colonies come to fight ours, then that'll be a point of contention. What I want to know about more, though, is... What exactly? would quite like to know about this here. Can't quite circumnavigate the, the world yet. If you've got nothing better to do, why don't you check this out for me? There you go. What's your enclave in the random new world called? So far it is called... Oh man, I can barely read that, but it's... Yeah, I can't really read that. Kara. Okay, well, I can check that if I go into the geographical map mode. Okay, so it's my Karahari. Mazabite. Oh, shoot. Ottomans are westernizing now? There's a very high chance that they're going to fall into some really nasty situations with that going on. Lithuania. Now is the time for us to make beautiful friendship. I don't want to spend money on it, though. We're so close. And yes, it's threatened by Ottomans. Diplomatic reputation could be better. How could it be better? Hmm. I had a mission that I completed before that that was helping us out. Uh, that's not helping us there. Hmm. Just a little bit of better relations would sort that out. I'll try it with a gift. I hate to throw money away. I'm already above force limit here. Why are you uh, making me suffer like this? Making me suffer like G did. Vit Mustas must be colonized. I don't even know where that is. Oh sure, just uh, throw me head on into uh, the face of the British. Now this is all one big colonial region, right? Okay. So I need to dominate it rather than the British. But I kind of want this uh, trade node. What do I get if I colonize it? I get good things. So, okay. We can recall you and send you over there. Whilst I still try to get this alliance. Come on. Why you gotta be like this? Mm, it's just going away. My army strength is apparently too weak. I don't think pumping it up makes uh, much of a difference there. My navy, on the other hand, isn't too shabby. I'll grab another couple of boats. Ah. So close, whilst the Ottomans are... Uh, Hopefully going to run into troubles there. Hungary, though. You want to be my friend eventually. Finally. Gotcha. Too many Diplo relations. I'm not really concerned about that. But I certainly don't need access to Commonwealth anymore. Nor do I need friendship with Brittany. Jake, attrition on stack. Oh, thanks for that. Why did I have you over here? Oh yes, because you need to die, and what capital timing that is. Well, when I take it over, my uh, force limit will go up, so I don't think I really need to dismiss these guys. I mean, I paid for it, we might as well keep them like that. I won't be able to get this alliance if I... Um, uh, if I go to war. Also, I'm over my limit, so we can sort that. Cancel you. I suppose I can cancel you as well. But I love you. I would never cancel you again. Uh, 
Now we got the claims we need. Oh, well, I wanted to Niz, didn't I? And I never did take it. It'll take two years if I go to war. Perhaps a little longer if uh, other bad things happen. Damn it. Aragorn is still under you. And they would have lost their... Uh... Mm. They would have lost their liberty desire there. That's a shame. This, on the other hand, is quite good. Now, I wasn't really interested in this colony. I'm wondering if I should keep it anyway. It costs a fair chunk of money to have uh, three going at the same time, but it seems that I should, whilst I've still got the bonus to growth. Now, Tinez, you need to die. Did the Ottomans ever attack, Jake? Yes. Yes, they did. Got quite a few cores that I'd like back. I was able to get three of them back f in the future due to, uh... Well, let's not go into detail, but let's just say I'm really good. So I got three of my cores back. But I would like, you know, all of my cores back. And then to crush the Ottomans. I might be waiting a little bit of time on that. Oh, that's nice, though. I can very nearly get my Hungarian alliance. To the point where I would quite like to speed that up a little bit. Maybe not for 50 ducats or so. Ulema. Yeah. I mean, I, I really don't care about the Dimmy. And this is one of the things, like, um... You get from the estates what you want to put into them. You can just drive down their influence entirely so they're pretty much meaningless. Or you can juggle about with them and gain their bonuses and then periodically demand things like power. I'm all about demanding that power, really. I think I'll take it now, anyway. They'll lose a fair chunk of loyalty, but what the hey. And yeah, it's not of any real consequence. Stability cost increase doesn't matter too much whilst we have uh, plus three. Just a little bit more, and we've got an alliance with you, which is nice. Glorious. Finally have some allies that are not utter garbage. Like Algiers. That is to say, Algiers are one of the good ones. Jake, really good and really humble. Damn right. Abandon the colony, Jake. It makes Britain way too angry. Britain can suck a lemon. They're just acting big because they're allied with Austria. What are they really going to do? Well, probably attack me for it, but... Ha, not at minus three. Oh, that's prestige, not stability. Yeah, well, you know. Come on, Algiers, why you gotta be like that? I'd be better off just fighting you, to be honest, vassalizing you by force. Why did I not just do that? Why am I being so nice? Why am I such a nice guy? I wonder sometimes. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> My new strong rival. Oh, Civil War time. I hope you don't mind. Uh, no, Castile, you can go away. Clemson, he's not. Don't use my own strategies against me. That's only borderline fair. Okay, so we know about the South Atlantic. Uh, I kind of want that. Okay, we got all the claims that we want on you. Might as well show that superiority. I would love to bring Algiers in and show them what's for, but hold on a second. No, trust. Trust might impact on this. And we're certainly uh, gaining favors that we could use on it. But that's not all that useful, since we just want Algiers as a vassal. In any case, let us cleanse that uh, heresy. I think our uh, armies are all paid and we're better than them anyway, so move in for the kill. What a mistake to make a. I, uh, 
I keep doing this. I should keep an eye on their forts and try to snipe them, but I never do. I wonder why I'm so bad sometimes. Our air was pretty garbage, weren't they? Prove your metal on the front lines. Fastest man alive. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So they managed to get some uh, units in there to garrison it, so we're going to have to do the siege the old-fashioned way. me on my watch. Hmm. There's still a Lodia. And I really should be taking advantage of this and going down, sticking my fingers right into uh, some African land. It's certainly a lot easier on me. So we'll go for it. Jake, Algiers won't accept vassals if you have some of their cores. I'm not going to be taking their cores, though. That is the last thing I plan on doing. Please, Castile, take care of your reps. I do not want Plemsen. Alright, we got naval supplies on the go. And we have tax. I like tax. The guy's actually paying for himself, which is lovely. But we don't need any more than necessary over there. for here. How nice it is not to have rebel problems. How unusual it is not to have rebel problems. I think that's what's really nice about bringing uh, such a crappy country up to a superpower. Okay, maybe superpower is uh, getting a bit ahead of ourselves here. But we're certainly not uh, pathetic anymore. Let's just imagine we got a bad event boost, um, costing us some admin. Conquer Oras. What? Oh, war. Oh no, I uh, I can't do that. Hopefully, Lithuania make it through their civil war. Can be a pretty horrible one for the AI. Don't worry, Tinez is all blockaded. We'll have you guys join in on that as well. And soon, soon it is time to uh, convert you. So I'm sure some people thought I was going to die when I got uh, triple bum rushed. But Mazab is still alive. Mazab is doing better than ever. Zab don't want no fort here, though. I'll probably give that fort back to our friend. If I return that to uh, Algiers. I'm just taking my claims for myself. And these two are... Uh, oh, that isn't a core of theirs. I could never fabricate on it, but I might take it for myself anyway, since it is a nice province. How I would love to force religion on you, but that's a bit excessive. That works just fine. And you have no right to say no. <laughs> I can't return that because it's their last province. So that one will have to remain. No core on me though. No core on my friend. Looking good. 15 for the core. 40 for return, uh, oh, giving up the claim, returning the territory, it's all looking pretty good. The aggressive expansion and the overlord abandon is still pretty nasty, but we're back on the right footing with you. Yeah. 
And I'm finally at a point where I don't think I want to raise autonomy right now, because I can defend this land. I have an army that can do that. <laughs>